Chai Hui. Welcome to my channel. And I'm currently a medical houseman who is going to finish my first posting in medical soon. I've passed my Viva last week and I was so happy and surprised when my specialist uh, said to me well done on my Viva and asked me to consider to do medicine in future. So I guess my hard work paid off. So today, me and my batchmates plan to prepare some foods and drinks for our specialists, MO, senior housemen, staff nurses, and also PPKs as a token of appreciation. And today is my off day, so I volunteered to pick up one of the food, which is satay, from a shop at Kajang and sent to hospital. So before I go pick up the satay, I would like to make a short sharing about medical posting for you guys. The study materials I use in medic posting are Sarawak Handbook of Medical Emergency, Oxford Handbook of Clinical Medicine, CPGs, Clinical Notes Medicine, and also notes by Dr. Najiba Shakira. For Clinical Notes Medicine and also notes by Dr. Najiba Shakira, you guys can contact the number I will put in my description below to get the books. There are 15 mandatory topics listed in the logbook which are Dengue and other common infections such as leptospirosis, cholera, malaria, myeloidosis, typhus and also typhoid Sepsis and rational use of antibiotics, TB which is uh, tuberculosis and also diabetes mellitus including all the diabetic emergencies such as DKA and also HSS Hypertension including hypertensive urgencies and also emergencies Acute chest pain which you need to focus more on the acute coronary syndrome heart failure, ECG interpretation and management of all the arrhythmia, acute breathlessness, focus more on the bronchial asthma, COPD, pulmonary edema and also pulmonary embolism. And also common respiratory disease such as pneumonia, pneumothorax and also pleural effusions. Acute confusion, you need to focus more on causes including the meningoencephalitis, fluid and electrolyte disorder, acute kidney injury and chronic kidney disease, shock, and also counseling and communication skills which are breaking bad news, taking consent and also handling complaints. All the topics I've just mentioned above are must know in medical, so most of your off tag and also viva questions will be chosen from all these topics. I will put all the topics in my description below, so don't forget to check it out. There are around 16 essential topics listed in the logbook, which are Approach to cardiovascular risk factors such as diabetes mellitus, hypertension, dyslipidemia, obesity, and also smoking, stroke, seizures, and epilepsy. Focus more on the status epilepticus and also meningoencephalitis, deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, and anticoagulant therapy. Approach to anemia and principles of transfusion medicine. Approach to cytopenias, including the FBC interpretation, HIV disease, gastrointestinal bleeding. Approach to joint and chronic liver disease such as cirrhosis, portal hypertension and also liver failure. Thyroid and adrenal disease focus more on the thyroid emergencies and hypoadrenalism. Approach to arthritis and osteoporosis. Common skin conditions such as psoriasis, acne, eczema, urticaria and also drug reactions. Principle of geriatric care and rehabilitation and palliative care for the terminally ill. Poisoning and also snake bite. Universal precaution, infection control, and also hospital acquired infections. Principle of patient safety, including safe prescribing and medication adherence. I will put all these topics in my description below as well, so don't forget to have a look at them. There are around 8 compulsory performed procedures listed in the logbook, which are weather puncture inserting an IV cannula, blood culture procedure, arterial blood gas sampling, insertion of a urinary catheter for male and also female, inserting a roused tube which is a nasogastric tube, performing ECG and interpreting correctly, and also a satisfactory discharge summary. For the compulsory observed or assisted procedures, there are around 8 of them such as 
thoracocentesis, abdominal paracentesis, lumbar puncture, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, which include your back mass, chest compression, intubation, and also defibrillation, inserting a transvenous catheter in the arm, inserting a central venous catheter, inserting a femoral venous catheter, and also the insertion of a chest tube. study my ECG from the website called Life in the Fast Lane so you guys can just check it out the website link from my description below so I learned a lot during my four months in medical posting and I really enjoy my time spent in medical so much I personally feel that it's much more easier for me to remember how to manage a case if I go to work every day examine the patient, review the patient, and carry out all the plans. And then after that, I will read up the particular topic to strengthen my knowledge. Um, four months in medical is actually not enough for me to learn how to manage all the cases. But I'm sure uh, if I keep learning without giving up, knowledge and experience will come by time. So that's all I want to share for now and I'm going to pick up the satay now so see you guys later. So on my way to pick up the satay, I passed by Family Mart and I suddenly craving for an ice cream which is this one. This is an ice cream my friend recommend me during our last outing so yeah. Let's try it now. The last time I tried the flavor is a original flavor, it's a vanilla flavor. Now I bought myself the chocolate flavor to try. I really like this packaging because it provides the little spoon inside so you can just eat it whenever you want. This ice cream is something like uh, mochi mochi and then the there's ice cream inside it. I think I prefer the chocolate flavor more than the vanilla flavor because I'm a chocolate lover and this really tastes good. And it's not that sweet. It's the kind of sweetness that I can tolerate with. So as you can see, I've already picked up the satay and reached hospital. So now I'm going to prepare all the foods and drinks with my friends. Let me tie my hair first. <laughs> Okay, so now jump. to thank all my bosses, specialists, MOs, senior housemen, staff nurses, PPKs and of course all the patients. Because without you all, I would not have learned so much and also complete my medical posting. So I really appreciate for all the guidance, all the teachings and thank you so much for helping me and tolerating me this potato in the department. So um, love you guys so much and thank you. So that's all for my video today and congratulations to those who have already finished their medical posting and good luck to those who are going to start medical posting soon or are currently in medical posting. And for me, myself, I've already prepared to face new challenges in a new posting. So good luck and also all the best to my new posting then. Thank you so much for watching and supporting this video. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, share and also subscribe. So hope you guys have a nice day ahead. See you guys in my next video then. Bye!